Hi, everybody. All right, picking up from last time, just nailing the skin away. Uh, nailing the skin away. So we're doing the outboard skin, and just like the inboard skin, I'm starting off by doing the entire aft row of rivets first. Uh, that's the most uncomfortable ones. You can see I've just basically got my hand shoved up all the way in there that I possibly can. So once you've got those done, then you can start going down the uh, ribs, rib flanges. Now the thing about going down the rib flanges, uh, someone had asked in the last video, you know, that they have always are used to seeing thousands of Clecos and people only taking one Cleco out at a time. And, and that is true. For 99% of the plane, that is exactly how you do it. Everything is Clecoed in as hard as it possibly can be, and you remove them one at a time to rivet everything on. Uh, here, because I have to have my hand shoved up it, uh, the entire time, you can't really do that. Uh, but the safe thing to do is, so if you're riveting a, uh, a hole and you need to do just that one, but you've got to bend the skin back to get your arm up there, at least one Cleco, either at the next hole or one down from that, is uh, important. Just to make sure that the skin is as flush as possible to the flange before you rivet. So we're just going to go down the ribs, and it's just like the inboard skin. So you're going to go down the ribs all the way until you get one past where the J-channel comes across on the flanges. At that point, you will insert the J-channel, uh, rivet it on, and then continue to go down the ribs, just like we did with the first skin. So let's see if we got any updates or anything. Oh yeah, so the engine's still here. I hadn't sent it back. Uh, it is still glorious. And I'm sorry I didn't get this out on Sunday. I was supposed to do this on Sunday. I've said I was going to do these twice a week. Problem was, uh, it was my wedding anniversary this weekend. Twelve years with my beautiful wife, who has yet to figure out that I'm worth more dead than alive, uh, and hasn't started poisoning my coffee yet. But give it time, so... Okay, so once you've got this outboard skin on, you can start riveting down the two rows that make up the overlap with that and the inboard skin. Here, apparently, I decided to just shirk off of work. Let's see, any updates or anything? No, I don't have any rants either. Well, that's not true, but I can save those for another time. All right, so like I said, once you get one past where the J channel goes in, then you can go ahead and insert the J channel, Clico that sucker on, and then start riveting it it into place. The trick with doing the ones around, especially with uh, the J channel, is that they will be very close to the ribs themselves. So there's a couple places where you have to. Uh, put your hand through the lightning hole of the rib and then immediately past that is where the rivet is for the J channel and it's kind of tough because <clears throat> all the ribs for the J channel are on the side of the ribs where the flange bends so if the flange is bending to the left that's the side that the rivet will be on for the J channel here I've, you see I've got a little uh, I decided to tilt the camera so you could check out some beautiful sunset in San Francisco. Not realizing that my camera does not do it justice. <clears throat> so these will be the hardest ones because you can still see that I have to have my hand shoved up underneath to actually do them. So once you get past this J channel mark, at this point you... Uh, if you need to, you can still get your hand up underneath the skin to maybe do one more, maybe. But after that, you start bending the skin so much to get your arm under there that it could actually crease the skin. You don't want to do that, right? So you just want to gently bend the skin, not crease it. All right, we should be finishing up this skin in the next video. So thank you for joining me. Everyone have a good week. See you soon.